Alagato. All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, let me go through. Let's go through two examples here, for real quick. You're not. Now, let's say, guys, I gave you a couple points. I gave you this point, this point, and this point. Okay. Now, these coordinate points. This is one one. This one is negative 1, 3. And this point is 0, comma, negative 2. You guys agree with me? So the domain is all the x values, right? So the domain in this example is negative 1, 0, and 1. The range is the set of all y values, 3, 1, negative 2. Just three numbers, very simple, right? Pretty easy. Now, so domain and range, when you have points, is pretty simple. Or when you have a table, it's pretty simple. You just list all the um, independent, which would be your x values, and your dependent, which would be your y values. However, when you have a graph, we have a different animal. Because yes, we know this point is 3, 2. Right? And you could also say, let's say that's 2, 4. We also know 2, 4 is in the point. right? But what does this line represent? This line represents infinite many points in between there. So you can't list all these points that are listed right there, right? You, can't, you don't want to do 2.1 comma um, 3.7. You don't want to do 2.0001 comma 3.0007. You guys see how it's impossible to list all the points that make up the line, right? I mean, there's infinite, da, 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 da. millions, millions, tens of millions, infinite many points. So we can't list them all. So rather than trying to list them all, let's do it the other way. Let's say what points are not in my domain. So is there a point for negative 5? Is x, is x equals negative 5, is that a part of my domain? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Is that a point on the graph? Yes. Is there any reason to believe for any x value as I keep on going to the left is not going to be a part of this graph? No, because that graph goes on to where? Negative infinity. So the domain is all values going to negative infinity, because this graph never stops. Going to the right, how far does this graph go? Infinity. It, the x values, there's no, re, there's no number, there's no x value that this graph will not have a value for. Okay. However, let's look at the range. Range, now we're not looking at x values, we're looking at the y values. Um, the lowest y value, we know that 2 is a y value. What about 1? Is there a y value? Is there an x value when the y value equals 1? Sorry. Do we have a y value at 1? No. So 1 is not in the range. So what is the lowest y value that this graph has? What is the lowest y value it goes to? 2. And then what's the highest y value it's going to go to? Infinity. So that is your domain and range. That's it? That's it. Okay. It's a little bit different than when you're dealing with points.